Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Get Ready With Me. Oh my gosh. Not cute, not cute. Oh, fucker. So I decided to change my outfit, just the top, because I was trying to see which colours would go with this backdrop. And to be honest, I think just white would go, but all my white stuff is already in the washing. And some of my white stuff is like wrote on, because when I was drunk, I decided to have fun and just write on my shit because I thought it was a great idea I didn't realise I was using like oil painting or something, oil paints and it's not came out of my clothes, I've washed it numerous times and it's still not out of my clothes anyway welcome to part 2 if you have just finished watching part 1 I was showing some products that I've been loving recently and I'm just going to casually eat a Vimto bar right now does anyone remember these Vimto? I've been having an obsession with chew bars recently, but I better be careful because years ago when I was uh, a kid, I remember after school, I bought loads of Iron Brew bars, basically this by Iron Brew, and I was watching That's So Raven and I was like, just sitting back, enjoying the chew bar, and then I done this, and I pulled it out, and my tooth was on the fucking chew bar, so yeah. Be careful how many of these you eat, okay? Mm. Okay, I just realised that looks really, really fucking dirty to do on camera. So, I'm just going to do an eye look on camera. Get ready with me. We're just going to chit chat as usual. And we'll see what I come up with, what I talk about. I need to update my lips because I have had di dinner like 10 minutes ago. Baby, let's get high. So I'm just going to bake under my eyes. I've not got any clue what kind of eye I'm going to go for tonight, but we'll just go with the flow, go with the flow. I'm using this setting powder by Party Queen, and we're just going to bake. I think I'll go for an or another orangey look tonight. Not sure, though, because I've been doing that quite a lot recently. And I... Hate sticking to the same looks. I don't want to be like called out like Manny and UA. He always gets called out, that boy, because they always say he does the exact same eye looks. No shade. Just saying. Oh my god, I was baking earlier today just to set my face, and I looked like this, and the fucking postman shut the door to, for a package, and I had to answer the door like this. Yeah, I know. He basically looked at me as if, what the hell is going on? I'm like, thank you, bye. So yeah, as you can see, beautiful colours, beautiful colours. One fell out. Typical me. Um, What colour am I going to take for a transitional colour? I think I'm going to take one of these oranges, probably. This one. Yeah, as a little transition colour. Oh my god, I nearly done it again. I totally nearly forgot to put an eye base on. I think in my last Get Ready With Me video, I totally forgot to do it. Put a little bit on my eyes. Just so the colours stick and pop out a lot more. I should have probably done that before I started baking under my eyes. So, are you excited for Christmas, guys? I'm not. I never really like Christmas. I hate Christmas. I hate it. I don't know why. I think it just reminds you of all the like memories you had and because like if you've lost someone like I've lost like my mum so it's not the same so I bought my dad a good gift for once and I'm so excited to give him it I would say what it was but just in case he watches the video I'm not gonna say it usually I always leave gift buying until like the 24th of December and I'm always running about trying to get everyone their gifts but this year I was actually the first out of everyone around me to get the gifts in because this year I want to do good with gifts I want to actually make people happy instead of just giving them shit at the last minute so I think my dad will fucking faint when he sees that I've actually got my real gift so I'm just doing an orange as my transitional shade transitional? why do I keep saying transitional? is it not transition? transition shade? yeah I keep forgetting that I'm on camera, so I'm like doing all this, and that ain't cute. But, and yeah, I keep singing John Wayne by Lady Gaga because I just saw 
are on Victoria's Secret fashion show. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know if the lights are fucking blurring that out as well. Just blend, blend, blend. What can we talk about, guys? What's a 411? That's foam repair. Who knows what that's from? I'm gonna take this darker orangey red right here and put it in the crease. <laughs> oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. Get it in. Get it in. Now we'll just casually drag it over here. Get to blending, get to blending. So let's get deep for a minute. Uh, when I was eating dinner, I was watching a Channel 4 documentary and it's called Kids on the Edge and it's about kids like mental health. Basically they're young teenagers, some of them are younger and can you see that? And it got me thinking about me as a young teen and I was thinking what's different from me back then to the kids these days and then I realised like the internet must play a massive part and like these kids mental health because they're looking at things that are so perfect I mean it was bad enough when I was a teen like a young teenage Scott because I had eating disorders cut myself started drinking at a very young age started taking drugs at a very young age all because I was trying to chase something something that wasn't actually there I was trying to be someone else and it got me thinking could you imagine I was like that was going on in the day of technology with Instagram and all these social networks I would not be here I don't think because I was already underweight and an alcoholic and a junkie and that was without Instagram and stuff so I would hate to think what these poor kids actually have to go through today but yeah that was just a little deep topic there I'll not go too deep with the video because you know don't want to get you guys down and I'm doing my eyes and recording tell them so I'm going orangey 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 yeah I'm going orangey and reddish right now obviously I'm gonna fix it up at the end I'm actually not that good at doing eyes but I've been practicing nearly every night just to try and get it down that's something I'll do every night I basically do my face for no reason at all just to do it and it I spend like up to six hours just doing my face, doing an eye look and stuff and I think it's because I love art so much it's basically drawing, playing with colours, playing with shadows etc so I find like I find it so relaxing and appealing Oh, that's a nice sparkly I'm taking this colour now sorry can you get see it's like a more brighter orange put that right there in the middle We'll blend it all out at the end, don't worry. Put that right there in the middle. I'm so professional. I'm not a beauty blogger or beauty guru. I just like doing this, these type of videos because I can chat and don't have to think much about it. It just feels as though I'm talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. Where there's when you're sitting down doing a sit-down video, you really have to concentrate and think about what you're talking about and have like a topic. But at least with these videos you don't really have to have a topic, you can skip from topic to topic. Which is always fun because you never know what the hell your brain's gonna come up with. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, can you see this? I hope I'm getting better at eye looks though because I have been practicing quite a lot. <sighs> yeah, I fucked this up! I'm just gonna take this bright bright ash yellow here and try and you know, blend everything together. I don't know why but I've been obsessed with yellows and oranges right now. I don't know if it's the time of year or what, but I find these type of colours just go 
well with me. I don't really think I'd suit like blues, etc. What else can we talk about? Let's go. Catch me up. Catch me up what I've been up to. And hi to all my new subscribers. I'm Scott McGoldrick. You just call me Scott. You just call me Whiskey. You can just call me Bitch, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I wasn't even fucking recording. I was sitting talking to you guys. Can we see this eye so far? Okay. Keep up, keep up. This is the look so far. So far, but we've got a little bit more to go. So I'm taking probably one of these colors. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I literally just dip in and hope for the best. And this is going to do my tips in. See, this is why I can spend up to six hours doing my face. If I see any little line out of place, I just keep going and keep going until it's fine. I'm going to take this color right here. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a very darky orangey browny colour. Um, putting that on the edge. That's not dark enough. Nope. Whatever. Trial and error, trial and error. I'm gonna take this orange and I know I'm not showing you them, but that, I'm not exactly doing a tutorial, a how-to, so there's not really any point in me showing you what I'm using. Just, get ready with me, so sit your ass down, grab you a snack, go pee, because you went for a rough ride. Yes. In fact, I'm going to use my finger. I feel as if sometimes your finger just places it on a lot better. You feel me? Oh. I'm so glad my flow is basically going away. Then we'll blend it out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. I bet you I'll do this. Take a selfie or Snapchat and then I'll take it off. <laughs> it's actually pretty early for me tonight to have this face on. Usually this would not be all done until after midnight, 1am, and it's not even 9 o'clock yet, I don't think. And look how far I've come. I've nearly got my eyes done. I'm recording a YouTube video. Scott, you should be so proud of yourself. I am. I am. What? I need to do this eye. What's it for? It better have been always something stupid. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. So, where the hell was I? Oh god, I've already fucked up my eye. So, I'm just gonna take one of these dark ass browns. Why do I keep showing you guys as though it's a tutorial? I think I'm just gonna take this little brush here. Just because it's a thin kind of packing brush, but I'm not gonna pack it on. It's actually gonna be to deepen this crease. The only thing I noticed about this party queen setting powder under the eyes when you leave it for so long like if you're doing your eyes I feel as though sometimes it just melts into the skin and disappears and you have to put more on so by Christmas I'll have a good HD camera so my videos will be much more HD joining the club with oh my god can you guys see that? hopefully that brushes away I'll need to put more setting powder under my eyes because I don't trust this. Oh, thank God. It just it brushed away. It's fine. Um, so yeah, by Christmas, I will have a full HD typical beauty guru thing going on. I'll have all the lights and etc. Whatever. May as well join the club. It'll probably only be getting used for videos like this anyway because... Well, actually, that's a lot. I'll probably do other kind of videos like story times but I can't really think of any story times as of now my memory guys is so bad seriously and I think it was all the years of like drugs and alcohol and stuff all the poisons I was putting into my body at such a young age I think that's what's effed up my brain my memory so do not do drugs kids it ain't worth it trying to run away from like your demons it's just one of the like sooner or later you're gonna have to face them anyway so why ruin your whole body and mind just to not face up to reality that's my problem i always try and run away from it anyway getting too deep again <laughs> i don't know what to talk about now guys i've been up quite early today like my cat woke me up at like 5am i think it was or half five 
and since then I've been up so I don't know if it's because my brain's like shutting down now that I have nothing to talk about so I might just finish this eye off camera and then show you guys I'm probably boring you half to death by now I do apologise oh I watched Mariah Carey's new docuseries earlier today she actually seemed a lot more normal than I was expecting I was expecting like loopy Mariah but in the first episode she seemed really normal. I don't really know how I feel about a manager though. A manager seems as though she should be like on mob wise. I wouldn't like to like fight with her in a bar anyway. Oh my gosh I'm such an idiot. So my new single crown. <sighs> Guys I love this song okay but I have had some issues. I sent it off to the distribu distributor. That's a bit and they sell, send it to like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, like everywhere, Shazam, anywhere you can think of. And when I sent it, I was, uh, that's when I had the earache, the chest infection, and all that stuff. So I was on painkillers, and I have I sent in the wrong fucking audio for Crown. It wasn't the official version. And it's went to iTunes and Spotify, etc. So that's been fun trying to get it pulled. They said it could take up to four to six weeks. And I'm like, yeah, please be joking, please. Please just get it removed and then I'll like send the real version. So yeah, don't do anything business wise and you're high. I didn't know what the hell I'm doing at this eye anymore. I'm just going and going and going. I'm just getting my shit together. I'm definitely getting tired, I think. I think that's the issue. Oh my gosh, I got a Fire, Amazon Fire TV stick, the best thing, it's created. Just watch all my Scream Queens and stuff on that. So, coming up, like this month I think, or next month is that? That'll be like two months since I have had sex. Two months, I meant two years, sorry. That's been fun. Uh, it has actually, to be honest, because I could go without it. I know it's so strange at my age to be saying that, but I'm seriously just done with a lot of people recently I'm just like done I'd rather just be myself I can't be bothered with anyone and I hate having to explain myself to people you should never explain yourself I tell my uh, friend Catriona this all the time like she's always asking what can I say I don't want to do it what would I do and I'm like just say no it's that easy you don't owe anybody an explanation for anything in your life the quicker you just say no and don't give anyone an explanation the more you get used to it and the better you'll feel because once you have to start lying to everyone about everything like I can't come to your party because blah 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 I mean that's worse would you rather not just tell your friends no I'm not going and then if that's why just say because I'm not it's my life my choices if I don't want to go I don't have to give anybody an explanation about anything okay when you think about it you generally don't owe anyone an explanation for anything if you don't want to do something you don't have to do it so why do we always sit and try and not hurt anyone's feelings? We always try and lie and say stuff like, oh, my my grand's birthday party's on that night, so I won't be able to make it. Now I just go, no, no thanks, enjoy yourself. Anyway guys, I think I've spoken enough. I hope you enjoyed the videos. It was just a little get ready with me. I felt as though I wanted to chat with you guys. Sorry if the lighting sucks. Sorry if the backdrop isn't ironed. But for now, this, you're just going to have to put up with me like this. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. It was two parts, and probably both of them were bullshit. But if you enjoyed them, give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you use, what eyeshadow palettes are good, etc. Because I really need to buy new ones. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you so much. Love ya. Mwah.